Hello and welcome everyone! Yeah, like I told you in my monster trap video, I would try some other floor tiles as well. And I got the results! I got the results in! So wait, let me take a look at my notes. So, I will tell you everything that you can spawn on the Isle of Awakening. But here you can see how it works. And now we will go in death. In depth. In depth. In depth. In depth. <laughs> it's so hard for Germans. <laughs> so, over here. A distance of 1, 2, wait, wait, let's count from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, uh, from the center it's 20. So, I measured out the blocks. Like, as you can see, the island, the island has those tiles, those little squares and stuff. Those are 8x8 eight eight blocks, exactly. So the island has a grid on which it creates those tiles on the minimap. And I think it also affects the monster spawns. So if you really want to make sure that those monsters spawn from an 8x16, area like I did over here. This is also the best area to make it because uh, they spawn at a 16 block range right in the center of those areas and then they will spread out because they walk around to the left or the right or back or front. So it's always best to make a 16 blocks long area. So as you can see, um, how do we do it? Also this might be a bit useful because those floor tiles are all the ones I was missing for the challenge. So I needed some plasma, some lava, and you can also put down the lava blocks, which will also give you another floor tile. Uh, the swamp area, the dragon scales, the red sand from the last uh, explorer's shores, then the normal floor and the more evil floor. It's like, I think, temple. Temple themed and castle or town themed. As you can see on the minimap. All different. It's a different shade. So, what I, what I wanted to show you. I will now reduce it to half of it. And that's the way you can test it for yourself. So just lay down 4 by 8 blocks somewhere and when you add one block and uh, look at the minimap, as soon as I put it down, the floor tile will change. So when you put down 4 by 8 and put down one more and it will change the floor tile, then you know exactly it's in the right spot, exactly at the grid of the map. That's the way I noticed it. So, but now let's go to the monster traps. Let's go over here. This is sea sand, as you can see from the roof. And there the sea snails will spawn. Ah, just one. So wait, we need to destroy some some monsters. Or defeat, defeat some monsters. Also very important, if no monsters spawn, Make sure to kill all the monsters around you so that the monster spawn number is still free. It's like a technological term. And then they will spawn massively. Like two or three at a time. Normally it should be three. Ah, there's a red in the background. So seaside sand. We'll get those sea slimes. And with those you can build plaster. Plaster is one of the best materials to build walls in houses because you can color them in each color and they are this pastel tone of color and that's why I would highly re recommend to farm those. I think you need a one, 1000 or so. You can also do it with a chest bomb glitch and duplicate them. So I got a few right now. Sea slime shells. Those you need for this. And that's how you farm them. Ah, I need to increase my range of those 
spikes. So, and over here, chart. Or chart, chart, I think. With chart, chart? With chart? I don't know the word, sorry. Uh, you can spawn those fat rats. Wait, let's go over here. And those fat rats will always drop fur. So this is the best option to farm fur. If you want to farm cotton, which is the other thing you might need, you want to have sheep and feed them wheat grass to increase their happiness to 100%. When they are the happiest, they will drop the most cotton. I think per sheep you get 8 cotton per day, maybe even more. And here we got grass. Grass will spawn bunnies and slimes. So there you will get, I think the bunnies also sometimes drop cotton. So maybe you can also use this method. But it's not as much as the meat they drop. Uh, they drop it, but it's like a 5 to 10% chance that they drop cotton. So it's not the best method to farm it. I would recommend to keep your sheep very happy. So, and over here we got spoiled soil, which is also very important. With those you can farm grass seeds and this night soil, or let's just call it dung. So you can see what you can farm with those different floor tiles. Yeah, and there are a few more. I will read them to you. So, coast sand will always generate sea slimes. Sandstone or shirt or shirt, shirt will generate those fat rats. Umber generates those ants and they will drop wheat seeds, as you may know. Snow and ice will generate blue werewolves. But those uh, also drop fur, but they die really, really slow and only one at a time spawns. So I wouldn't recommend it. So, sandy sandstone, arid earth, siltstone, strange sand, and normal desert sand will generate scorpions. And they will drop in medicinal leaves and those gladiolus seeds. So, and all stone types, like those over there, like all dolomites, obsidian, malachite, basalt, and bark, also from trees, will generate those stone block slimes. Those over there, wait, there's one. With those you can farm earth. I don't know if you should use it for something, but I just wanted to tell you that it's a possibility. Uh, <laughs> all grass types and mossy spoiled soil will uh, spawn bunnies and slimes, which will generate meat, cotton and oil. The spoiled soil will spawn hens and zombies, which drop grass seeds and dung. The chalk and ash from the defiled isle, where you will get it everywhere, will spawn uh, chimeras. Those also drop medicinal leaves, but you're... Ah, nice to know. They're even afraid of lava, because it lights up. Wait, let's go over here to farm some more cotton. So you could also stand in the center and put a roof above you. Let's just do this. So this way you could also farm like two different kinds. I believe. Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't seem to work. But maybe you will get it to work. Um, which grassy earth or poisonous peat, which is this one, those will generate green slimes. Those look like the very rare metal slimes, so some which are more liquid. And those will drop poisonous mushrooms. Well, maybe also a pretty nice drop. And lava, like those lava stones, those will generate those uh, fire, those fire demons, which can only be killed with water from the bottomless pot and those flying tentacle monsters. Those will drop coal and medicinal leaves. It's also not really worth it. And yeah, I believe... Oh, stop following me, come over here. Ah, now you're afraid. Yeah, and I think those are all the monsters you can spawn. 
I tried like every block in the game. So, but maybe you will find something else. Then let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's it for now. And I hope you find it pretty useful. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. So have a great day, morning or evening. And keep killing those monsters. Monsters are bad. Bad for your health. <laughs> and I will see you soon. So, bye. And I also need to work on my material islands. So I will make a little list of all the islands there are in the game so you can see exactly what kind of blocks you can get from each island. But more on that on a later note. There you can see the green slimes. And they drop poisonous mushroom. Or frog stool. Frog stool. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs>